You have found yourself in the seedy, mob-ruled town of Mantis Falls in the 1940s. By unfortunate coincidence, you were in the wrong place at the wrong time, and you saw something you weren't supposed to see. People are coming for you. Your only hope is to get out of this town as fast as possible. The journey is dangerous, and you're not sure you can make it alone. But you won't be alone. And that's good news, right? You have some powerful friends outside of town who know of another witness in a similar predicament. They're arranging for the two of you to meet at a diner and make the dangerous walk out of town together, protecting each other along the way. Only when you meet this person and begin your journey together, it occurs to you that you aren't entirely sure this is the witness you were promised. Maybe this person killed your witness and came in their place. Mantis Falls is a sometimes cooperative hidden trader game for two to three players. In this video, I'm going to show you how the two-player game works. Setup begins by randomly assigning each player a hidden role as either a witness or an assassin. If you're playing the game as a witness, you have a 50% chance the other player is a witness too. To win the game, you must both survive to the end and escape Mantis Falls together. If one player dies, the other player loses as well. If the other player is an assassin, however, they must kill you, unless you can kill them first. As a witness, you don't get to know which game you're playing, and your hand management must always walk the line between self-protection and generosity. You must be as ready to kill the other player as you are to pull them back from the brink of death. An assassin has the advantage of knowing which game they're playing and maintains the element of surprise, but a witness is not without defense. Witnesses are protected by a card entitled Call in a Hit. Players both start with this card, but its most powerful effect can only be used by a player who is truly a witness. With Call in a Hit, you can use a nearby phone to summon a sniper who can deal your friend an enormous amount of damage in one fell swoop. Players using this card must be within one road of a phone booth, however, so a good assassin will cut off the phone lines around town, try and get the card out of your hand, or else wait to attack until you're away from a phone booth. Players at the beginning of the game are also assigned a random and hidden character card. This tells players how many wounds they can take before death and gives them some additional information about how they play and use cards when they are close to death. Mantis Falls begins with both players at the Sunset Diner, the beginning of a modular 12-card road. A turn begins with your initial movement. You may choose to move forward one road or not. Throughout the game, players traverse through four roads in the sunset, four roads in the night, and finally, four roads in the dark. As one could predict, walking through the roads in the dark is more punishing than walking through those at sunset. Road cards all have stoplight numbers that are referenced by events drawn throughout the game. Roads can have qualities such as phone booths, bus stops, and even ambushes. Roads are randomly distributed face down at the beginning of the game, and you can only see one road ahead of the farthest player. At the beginning of the road, players don't really have a lot of reason not to move, but those reasons will present themselves later, as movement might mean taking wounds or leaving the safety of a phone booth. After movement, the turn player draws an event and that event describes what will happen to the players at the end of the turn if nothing is done to prevent or defeat it. Events that are light in color are considered seen and should be placed face up for all players to read. Events that are dark in color are unseen and are only ever read by the turn player. During a turn, a player can lie about the effects of an unseen event. Cards offer built-in opportunities to lie, but players can also completely misrepresent the cards by saying, for example, that a card that does nothing will kill the other player, or by saying that a card that will kill the other player actually does nothing. Events can also be oppositions or incidents. An opposition is a person who can be hurt and defeated during a turn, whereas an incident is an unfortunate circumstance like stepping on broken glass. It can be, sometimes be prevented, but can't be fought with bullets and knives. Events will often refer to qualities of the road. Road cards each have a series of three stoplight numbers on them, a red number, a yellow number, and a green number. In this way, the events of Mantis Falls worsen depending on where in the road a player is. After event draw, players have the opportunity to discuss and respond to the situation with action cards. Players normally have a hand of seven action cards and each have four options during this main play phase. They can make an action play, discard up to two cards, conserve energy with one card, or do nothing. Every action card has a suit in the upper left-hand corner. If you choose to make an action play, you can play as many cards of the same suit as you like, 
face down in the order in which you would like them to be executed. If a player chooses to conserve energy, they put one card in the designated spot above the board face up. That card can be drawn by either player during the draw phase, or four cards in conserved energy can be redeemed for extra healing or extra movement. Both players have an opportunity to make a main play on every turn, but the turn player must decide and make their main play first. If both players make an action play, action cards are then revealed and processed in alternating order, starting with the first card of the turn player. Action cards that say sometimes have a criterion that must be met if the action's effects are to take place. If at the time of processing the criterion is not met, that effect does not occur. Some cards say to take them as a condition or as an affliction. This means the card stays with the player and has an enduring effect. The enduring effect of a condition can be removed using events or action cards. However, afflictions are permanent and can never be removed. After all action cards are processed, the turn player must then process the event. Even if the event was unseen and the turn player lied about its effects, it must be processed accurately at this phase. That doesn't mean that the deception must be revealed. Cunning players can lie in a way that will never be revealed, allowing, for example, your partner to use up valuable cards fighting an event that was never going to do anything anyway. An unseen event is never revealed to the other player, after all. After the event is processed, both players then draw back up to seven cards, and the next player begins their turn. If at any point a player reaches their maximum wounds listed on their character card, the game does not end. That player must immediately reveal their character card and take a sidebar last gasp action play. This is an action play that can be used to heal wounds and return from the brink of death. For this reason, it's very important not to use healing cards in the game until the last gasp. There is no overkill, so a player with seven wounds who dies at eight could take four wounds, use a last gasp, and heal back up to seven. If the player managed to heal themselves during this last gasp, they move their last gasp tracker up one position and play resumes normally where it was left off. However, if a player does not heal during the last gasp, or if their last gasp marker ever reaches a three on the tracker, that player dies immediately and the game is over. Throughout the trek out of town, players will uncover obstacles. One such obstacle is the broken road, a road card in the night that cannot be traversed through normal movement at the beginning of the turn. If a player uses actions, events, or conserved energy to gain enough movement to pass the broken road, they'll receive a benefit, one very powerful action card of their choosing from the cards placed by the side of the board. Players receive a similar benefit from landing at the end of the road. These powerful cards confer an advantage to the player that risks leading the way through the night. Players may also encounter obstacles in the form of ambushes. If a player ever lands on a card with an ambush, that player must immediately take that number of wounds and discard randomly from their hand that number of cards. The game ends either when a player has been successfully killed or when both players finish a turn at the end of the road alive and together. At that point, players may reveal their roles. If both players were witnesses, they both lose if either one died. If one player was an assassin, then the player who has survived has won. If both players die, then both players have lost.